As part of our continued commitment to our planet and the amazing people who live on it, today I'm excited to introduce Olmo Earth. Olmo Earth is an end-to-end, -end, highly multimodal, state-of-the-art AI platform that empowers organizations to build solutions that help people, communities, and the planet. Olmo Earth is not a single solution. It's a platform for better understanding our planet. It's about taking the best possible artificial intelligence that we have today, tuning it for the Earth so that we can solve these challenges together. This release includes Olmo Earth Studio for annotation and fine-tuning purposes, a wide range of models of different sizes and capabilities, and our data. For training the foundation model that we have, we mainly use one set is the, the like satellite observations, which include like Sentinel-2, Sentinel-1, and the Landsat. And the other set is the high quality maps, like the world cover, SRTM, OpenStreetMap, and other crop type maps. And we are trying to combine them into the model training process. For our goal is to solve a major problem like climate change, wildfires, or famine. What is the best way of going about that? Should I build a generic, super powerful foundation model and then hope it can be tuned to solve these problems? Or should I make those challenges the central goal from the outset and build these models in collaboration with partners who are trying to solve these problems? We believe that latter approach is much more effective and that is what we've done with Olmo Earth. So we're using the OMO Earth platform to be able to fine tune the satellite monitoring to be able to determine uh, forest loss from actual deforestation and illegal deforestation. And through this platform, the model appears to be continuing to improve and we feel like we're really close to this technological solution that's going to be able to be uh, rolled out for the entire region. So what we're in theme so far, the models that we've been training have a very high level of accuracy, about 97% accuracy, which is quite promising. Currently, I believe Mangrove Watch covers about 50% of the globe, but if we want to scale that to all mangroves worldwide, we need to become more efficient, and this is where AI can help. What our partners will get from using the platform is the ability to have artificial intelligence solutions integrated in their workflows in a much shorter time than would be possible otherwise. A lot of our partners cannot hire an entire artificial intelligence team, but they can build off of our platform to get solutions that are related to what they care about. You can't just build models and expect most people to do anything with them. Of course, some people can, but we recognize that you have amazing subject matter experts, be they indigenous communities that understand their local contacts or PhD ecologists doing ecosystem assessments, but they're not AI experts. And you need to give them a way to interact with the AI to be able to transmit their knowledge into the models. We really need artificial intelligence to start working for humanity today, not in five years or 10 years or 50 years. We need it to help solve our problems now, and that is what we're trying to do with this platform and these models.